Hey lovely friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a thrift haul and thrift with me. If you are new here, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe. Today I am going to share with you a thrift with me and then at the end you'll see the thrift haul. If you're interested in seeing that, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm at St. Vincent de Paul, and I wish I would have grabbed this cute teapot. It was only $3.99. Oh, I'm kicking myself. This place has good prices, and then it doesn't. Like, this is their antique um, section. Those were $8 a piece. Oh, they're so cute. Those little copper tins. This was really cute. And I want these chargers. I believe they're $8 a piece, too. I'm waiting for them to go on sale. This was adorable, this cute teacup, but, oh, the price was just, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I know I can get them for cheaper, and this is kind of all their stuff they have. I thought this was cute, but I'm not really into collecting tins right now. Um, but yeah, they had a lot of interesting stuff. Oh, I wanted this so bad. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. It was like $9.99. And this was such a cute um, table too. The base oh, it was $14.99. Here's my basket of things that I had. Um, I'm not sure if I'm keeping it all. You guys will see in the haul what I kept, what didn't go with me. But... I always fill it up and then take stuff out. I wanted this chair too. I think it was like 20 bucks. Oh, these were so cute. These little firewood. Um, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> so now I'm at the thrift store next door, which is Idaho Youth Ranch. It's right next to um, St. DePaul. I hope I'm saying that name right. But they had so much china and i have way too much so i didn't grab anything and i wasn't really looking that well but they had a lot and i thought this was really neat um oh everything was so pretty oh i loved these these are really pretty but oh, i just don't need them i wish i had a hutch i mean i do have a hutch but it's not big enough um, I thought this was kind of cute, kind of nautical, I'm really not into the nautical theme, but this was cute too, it's one of those, um, Crown Trent mugs, um, but I'm really trying to stay away from mugs and just get the, um, teacups, but I kind of regret sometimes just leaving some behind because I really like them, but, and these are your typical teacups, like if, I don't know that come in a set, I guess. And I thought this was really cool. It was $2. Um, I have the mug set that I got a while back. And um, I thought it was really cool that I found it. These are really cute, but $2.49. You can get those for a dollar at other thrift stores. Here's another sneak peek of my cart. <laughs> oh, and I thought those that set down there that was blue is really cute. Oh, I thought this was cute too. I just don't know how I would use it. Um, it's only a dollar. Oh, nine. Let me, let me know if you, how you guys use yours. Cause I'm curious. I want to use it as a cloche, but I don't know. Maybe I should just buy one. And, um, yeah, I was just checking out all the plates. Couldn't really tell what this was, but it, oh, these are so cute eggshell something it was eggshell china gosh i wish you know when i'm doing these i am like such a dork i'm i don't do it properly and i'm sorry i'll try to do it better next time but here's that beautiful flute oh it was gorgeous but three dollars again i think it's too much when i can get them for a dollar i'm just a cheapskate i guess um oh, i wanted this I debated this. I regret it. When you debate it, just get it. Just get it because you're going to regret it later. I do all the time. I thought that swan was so cute. I didn't grab it because it was $6.99. But look at this little cute house. Where would I put it? I don't have any room. Um, thought this was cute. This little milk glass thing. What is it? Th that was cute too. 
and oh, these are so cute I didn't pick it up I don't know why and looking back I'm like what was my thinking I think I was just trying to be really not just get anything oh and it was a yellow tag 50 percent off just in case you guys were wondering this is that um idaho youth ranch oh that was so cute i have too many i don't need any this was really cute i didn't pick it up but thought it was super cute and so this was around easter time um like i said you guys are seeing these late um i have those guys that's so funny i have those little mexican i don't know what you call them folk art so cute oh this purse was just too cute i thought it was too girly i'm not sure if my little one would use it so i kept it this was cute too two bucks i just i try not to get too many things oh look at that bowl though how much was that four dollars why did i not get it oh my gosh i love stuff like that oh look at this so cute this had three pieces and it was $6. I didn't get it. I didn't get this one either. Oh, I just didn't really like it so much. I think it was $3 for that one. I thought those were cute as a set, but I have too many. They were $2. Um, I don't know what I'm touching, but... Oh, there's another plate. Oh, look at that cute little picture of the girls. Did I not notice that? Oh, there's another one of those. So this is Ruby's Antique Corner. They're in Idaho Youth Ranch. Um, ooh, that's cute. Uh, it was probably $9. I, I just won't get it if it's too much. Um, I thought these bowls were cute. And yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to start pausing more when I pick up things. Uh, I'm getting annoyed with myself. <laughs> So sorry uh i just when there's people around it gets so weird about it and try to be all secretive i should just not care i thought this was pretty cool and this plate was cute for five dollars but again what am i going to do with it it's I, I think it's cute but it's just not my style these were cute yeah those are really cute all right moving on to Still some more housewares. This looks like kind of hodgepodge plastic items. I'm, I'm looking for a bread pan. It's been so hard to find one, preferably a glass one, or copper pots, and those have been really hard to find. But check out how they do these over here. These are cute. They were so cute. Oh, how much were they? Four or five dollars? Oh, I can't remember. Those are cute. I just thought I had too many. Whatever that thing was, looks cute. This is cute too. This little, what is this? Pewter teapot. I don't know how much it was. It must have been too much. I thought this was really cute. Um, yeah, so here's all the stuff they got. Love finding these tins. Um, plates and these are the salt and pepper shakers I'm always talking about you can find them for a dollar at any thrift store but I didn't grab this one I already have the ones I want and oh I love this but for five dollars I can get it for two to three dollars at another thrift store so just keep looking hold out until you find that perfect item Those are so pretty, those plates. Oh, I don't know why I didn't get a teacup, but check out this mug ornament. It has a little wiener dog. I think it was like $2.99 or something like that. I want to say it was like $2.99. Um, <laughs> I thought it was cute, but I don't have a wiener dog. Would you guys buy something like that? Let me know in the comment section. And then I saw this. So cute. What the heck was that? Like a butter flat thing. Oh, this was cute. $2.99. I didn't get it. What's wrong with me? Oh, I have a problem. I just, I love tchotchke stuff. And this was gorgeous. I think it was like maybe 10 bucks. 
Again, I'm sorry, I'm not pausing so much and I can't see um, as I'm editing. I think that was like 15 and you guys, did you see what I had in my hand? Oh my gosh. Um, look at, oh, I want one of those so bad. I think it was, I don't know, $10. Um, there's just some really cool kind of jars. I don't know what I do with them, so I love them. But they were like two bucks. Um, yeah, not sure. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> what? Uh, I hit the mother load of these coasters. I love these. If you guys know me, you know I love those. It's only $3.99. Get out of town and check this out. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you the story in the hall. I can't believe I found that. And take a look at this. So cottage core. Very cottagey. I didn't grab it. I'm I'm really not into the cottagey cottagey type of more Regency. This, oh my gosh, you guys. Ugh. It's beautiful. Seven dollars. I didn't grab it. I didn't grab it. Don't know why. I hope it's there next time. Oh, I loved it. This was so cute. It was five dollars, so I so said I didn't grab it. And this thing. Oh, it's beautiful. So cute for a mug rack. I already have one and uh, I wish I would have took this. It didn't have a thing on it. And I think the lady said it was like six ninety nine, but oh well. Uh, this mirror I wanted so bad it was thirty bucks. I didn't get it. Another thing I regret. Love this. This lamp, gorgeous. It was like 35 bucks. I didn't get it, but it's beautiful. Hey, you guys, welcome back. I'm Adrian. I am so glad you're here. Welcome if you're new. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, <laughs> thanks for coming back. Today, I'm sharing with you another thrift haul. This is kind of like a cottagey Regency core thrift haul. I'm learning that Regency Core is actually the style that I'm doing, not so much cottage core. Um, and so my decor is, I've learned is the more, it's called Regency Core, um, which is, I guess, kind of the two put together. I'm not exactly sure. But a lot of the things is like crystal and brass and glass and gold and stuff like that very vintage antique items um as you can see like these type of frames and the flowers back there um neutral colors some woods but really either really soft or really dark um so i went to two of my favorite thrift stores um one of them is called saint therese um i believe St. Vincent de Paul, sorry, St. Therese, St. Vincent de Paul, and then I went to the Idaho Youth, where I only found just really few items, but I feel like I hit the jackpot at St. Vincent de Paul, so I'm going to share those things with you right now. When I was there, I was looking for um, where they have their tag sale. They always have a tag sale. And the tag sell is always like yellow is 99 cents. Um, I think green was 50% off and I believe orange was like 25% off. So I just try to stick to that. So I found some really cute pieces. I'm so excited about <laughs> All right, so the first piece I found was not on sale, but I just could not pass this up and the price was right. It's this beautiful little creamer mug and it was only a dollar oh nine i thought it was so cute um i've seen people use mugs or even little chubby creamers like this as scoopers so i thought this was really cute for that i have a few other creamers that i'll see which one i 
like more and display that one more as I'm looking at this. I'm like, I really like this. I don't know if I want to use it as a scooper. So we'll see what I use with this. I'll definitely use something with this. And I love this. I love creamers that have cute little um, just rims, especially if they're scalloped, and then the handle, a thing for handles, and the legs like on laps. So I found that, thought that was super cute. Um, now this is really not, this is more themed, but I found these cute little turkeys. Um, they're like turkey candles and they were only 99 cents because they were on sale and I thought these are so cute. I love the color, they're not very colorful, they're just like a neutral color. I thought these would be cute to display during Thanksgiving and in a vignette or tablescape. And let's see. And these are on my list of things to find actually at Michael's. Um, but I found them there, so it was even better. It is this lace trim or ribbon, whatever. It is so cute. The exact color I wanted. Everything about this is what I wanted. And the price was really great, $1.09. And I found this one next to it, which was exactly what I wanted as well. Just like a lacy really simple lacy trim too and this was a dollar oh nine as well so i got that one um, they had a ton of these and i really didn't need them something similar um at goodwill recently that i saw these like almost i think it's the exact same one but i'm not sure at goodwill it's going to be in one of my hauls videos um and they had like four or three for $3.99 I thought that was a great price but I didn't take them because it really wasn't what I was looking for but at this store and had the saucer included and the mug and it's just a cute little mug um this is the brand and they were 99 cents for both of them. And I, it's, that's so rare to find these days. And the other one that was more, I think it was called Mikasa. And it wasn't as pretty as this one. It was a bit more modern. So this one I picked up. I thought this is perfect for right now. I'm collecting little mugs. And I will be showing you, or you may have already seen it, my little mug rack. It is such a cute thing. It used to be. A jewelry holder and I turned it into a mug holder okay the next item I've had on my list for quite some time actually a couple years now and I still have been wanting it and it is this um, what do you call it a peg rack maybe um, and it was a dollar ninety nine in perfect condition such great condition these are hard to find and I love the color this is like the neutral color I was talking about um, so I thought I'm gonna hang this on a wall somewhere and just I have dried flowers hanging on my hutch and um, yeah so I thought this was really an awesome find this next item I have some already and um, I just love these things they're so cute and I had to pick this one up so it is a coaster and a silver plated coaster and let's see this on the back it says it's from it's it was like a special offer from the Reader's Digest way back when so you know it's vintage <laughs> made in Hong Kong um, you can already see that it's already being tarnished in there, and I love that. So it was 50% um, off, so it's only a dollar. So I thought, you know what? I had to have this. I have one in my living room on my bookshelf that's like keeping a book open. So these are great for that. So I thought another one would be perfect, and you can use them as a coaster. So I have these ugly coasters, and I've been wanting to switch them out, and this is perfect because I love having something next to my nightstand so that was a really awesome find and then <laughs> right next to it I found this one which I have one like this that actually holds my stir sticks um, next to my coffee machine 
and this one is actually way more tarnished and I'm not sure like it was it says made in China but they don't even make the China stickers like that anymore so again this was it says two dollars but it was a dollar so I'm guessing these used to be ashtrays I've seen one of these in an episode of the crown and I thought, oh, that's so cool. I have one just like that. So I think these used to be ashtrays. I'm not using them as an ashtray, but I use them as like, I don't know, my little stir stick holder <laughs> when I'm done, when I'm using it, like I leave it there to dry. So these are so pretty and they can, I mean, you can use these for anything, like put your bracelets, your watch, um, just a little trinket holder. So you can never go wrong with these. Then I was quite surprised to have found this one, this next piece. Um, and it was a little cheaper than the one I already got up here, but I got, I found one of these and it said it was $1.99, so $2 and from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure what the price was at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure like how old this is but um, it was, I guess, from Hobby Lobby. Um, so yeah, for $2, not bad, I can add it. I have both of mine up there, as you can see, kind of. The other one is way up there. So now I have another one I can add somewhere else. Probably gonna add it to my gallery wall. This has a little, maybe a sticker was there, so Gugon can get that out and Clorox wipe, clean this right up and you um, can put a picture in it. So those are empty right now, but I am looking for some vintage art to print off and I fill these with some beautiful pictures. All right, this next item is something that I rarely see at the thrift stores, but when I do see it, make sure to grab them because they're very rare and so beautiful. It is this vintage sheer um, apron. <laughs> I was trying to think about what it is. How beautiful is this? It looks like, um, like maybe some tea towels. We're here in the corners and it's just, it's just so beautiful. Um, I love to hang that on with that peg rail and maybe next to some dried flowers or a cute little hat. And this was $2.99, but it was 25% off, so like two something. And that's pretty cheap for something like that as well. Um, again, it was probably some like those vintage napkins. Um, and that it's just so darling and sweet. I love it. So that was really pretty. Different pillows to put on my bed. Um, I'm really looking for ruffly ones and I found a few, but they were Christmas themed. I, I still pick those up, but I found this one and thought this was such a pretty pattern. And even if I added some of that trim to this, if I sewed that on, it would look so pretty. And I just love the pattern that this is and the colors, it's like a cream color. And this was $3, so with the sale is 50% off, so $1.50. And you know, with a good wash, it'll be good as new. The next items, I think I told you guys, I think I have a problem with this, but I'm pretty much done because now I know the direction I wanna go with these lamps. I found this darling little lamp. It is so cute. How cute is this lamp? Look at how beautiful it is. And this was $3.99. It was not on sale. Um, I love this lamp. And I think it's going to be perfect for my kitchen. I do have one already. But I wasn't really liking it. I thought I would like it when I saw it at the thrift store. I thought I would really enjoy it. It's like a glass and then it has a gold base. Um, but I think it's a gold base that I'm not really liking. So I had, you guys saw my other lamp hauls and um, I did rub and buff on it and I still kind of didn't 
like it. So I think I'm going to resell those. And um, yeah, this is really cute. But before I did, I wanted to find lamps that I actually like. And I did. And I did find a lamp that I actually like. It has this gorgeous lampshade. This is so beautiful. Like, look at that trim. And it's kind of like a metal base. And even that is so pretty. I thought I can antique this a little bit. I believe it's missing this part. Um, so I got to figure out if there's something I can put over it or maybe just leave it. I'm not sure. I thought this was part of it, but um, anyways, I cannot go out without the base. And maybe I might take this part off or something, figure it out. But it was $6.99 and again, it was 25% off. So it was six something. But such a pretty lamp. I love it. I love this base. It is so gorgeous. The legs on her are just beautiful. And for that price for that lamp, you can't beat it because most lamps are a little bit more expensive without the lampshade and sometimes they're missing the little what is this called a spindle or um there's some name to this and i'm it's having a brain fart so the next store i went to was the idaho youth ranch and i didn't really find much in there um a lot of the things i'd previously wanted were already taken which is fine with me. I don't <laughs> need any more. Um, but this actually was something that was on my list. And I thought it's going to be pretty rare to find. And it might take me some time. I might even have to go to like antique stores or something like that to find this. And I found just one brown transfer wear little plate. It's like a saucer dessert plate. Um... It says Town Tavern, Japan. I love the cracked pieces. And again, there's a word that is, oh, I can't think of it. So I thought this was a really cute print. I can't take this tag off. I'll be taking it off here shortly. Um, but to find brown transfer wear is really wanting to try to find some for Thanksgiving. And... I mean, one piece, I'm happy, and it was $2, and yeah, you can't go wrong with that. I think it is just so beautiful. I love transfer wear, and I'm so excited. I hope I get to find more. I'll probably just be hanging it on the wall. I won't be using it because there's like a chip here and a chip there, and that's totally fine with me. It just gives it so much more character. The next item I found, I was kind of like, ah, I keep finding these after I bought the other items that you'll see what I'm talking about but it is a little rack holder of those coasters <laughs> and it was $3.99 um I just couldn't pass it up like there's one two three four six of these little coasters in there so I made it so much worth it and it has a little holder for them and I thought this was so cute like when you have a tablescape and you can use these coasters to put your goblets or you know whatever it has tissue paper in here so let's see I just thought this was so cute how cute are these these are so precious and it says made in Hong Kong but these are so cute they're definitely tarnished somewhat and I love that they're all pretty much the same little piece I wonder if this one kind of looks like the other one it's a little bit bigger but same idea um you can't find these anymore um this one's actually really cute I really like this one but these are really hard to find like you can't you can find them single ones in the thrift stores and they're a buck or two like that those ones um so i am happy to have found these like i said i think they're really sweet i have a set of eight now <laughs> i just need two more well maybe i just need one more 
because this makes nine. I'm sure I can find them and I, I want to say, well, we'll see. But I think this would look so cute on a spring tablescape. You can put your goblet there, your little glass cup, and it would look so, so cute. So happy to have found these. These are so cute. And that was all that I found at that thrift store. Um, I do have one item to share from Facebook Marketplace. Um, I try to look on there every day, every morning to see what they have. Sometimes you can find free stuff or really inexpensive stuff. And when I saw this, I had to jump on it. I saw this. Um, it just had a, I think it said gold horse. I'm not sure. Um, but she is so pretty and she is so heavy. She's so heavy. She is missing the little chain right here, but that's fine. Um, you can see she is definitely metal and she was only a dollar and she is so heavy so i believe this is copper or brass i'm not sure i didn't even know the difference but she is missing her little felt um i remember these having felt when i was a kid and that's why i got it it reminded me of when i was a child my dad used to have these hanging around he had some bronze ones that were really cute um and I just think these are so beautiful. And so I'm going to add her to my bookshelf. I really wanted something substantial, maybe as a bookend. I was looking for bookends. And I thought she would be great as a bookend. Just give it some dimension and just something unique. And yes, I love that. To my big church thrift store. And like I said, I have a running idea list in my head of things that I'm looking for. And um, so my daughter wants to do her room in a dog theme. And we did have it like in cactus and stuff like that, but she just wasn't into it anymore. So she wanted a good dog theme. So we're kind of in transition. It's kind of hodgepodge right now. So when I went to this thrift store, they must have just gotten a whole bunch of dog stuff um, because they had so much of this particular dog. Um, and I really wasn't into that other stuff, but I saw this in the picture frame section and I thought this was so cute. And it's just two little Yorkies. My mother has two Yorkies and my daughter loves them and these look like girls. So it, I just thought it was so cute. And it looks like it's from, like it has a certificate of authenticity and I thought that was pretty cool. And it was only $1.49. So I was really happy about that. Um, it's number 54 out of, out of 290. So I just thought it would be so cute to have it in a really cute picture frame and hang it up on her wall. I already have a round one that you guys have probably seen with a little girl and a dog. And I kind of wanted to do her room more cottagey, like more cottage core type vintage and antiques, um, lacy and more of the, she loves blue. So I thought that was really pretty and do like blues and browns and just neutral colors, but make it look really cute. Even think like a blue gingham might be cute for her um, comforter and stuff like that is what I was thinking and maybe some ruffles. Um, she doesn't like too girly stuff like she doesn't like pink. I mean, she likes it, but it's not one of her favorites. So I just thought this picture was so sweet and I had to have it. And if she doesn't like it, I'll be putting it up somewhere. <laughs> that same dog theme. I found this in the picture frame aisle as well. And it is pretty big. It has a ton of puppies. Um, it's like maybe five feet long i'm not sure but it was only oh i must have fell out but it was only 99 cents for this poster and i just thought it was so cute i'll try to see this is like probably half <laughs> but it just has um a ton of donations on it Let's see if it works out if not i'll probably just donate it or try to sell it um resell it i found the tag for that poster so all right these other items oh i'm so i love these things so i saw this when i first went in there oh, 
How sweet is this? It was only $1.99. Um, it's a bone china made in England. So this is beautiful. Not sure if I'm going to use this. I might, it may or may not, but I am going to do a plate wall with different, different plates that I absolutely love. And that is one of them that I absolutely love. I also found this really pretty green silk ribbon. Um, is it silk? I'm not sure. But anyways, it was only 69 cents. I was just hitting the jackpot with ribbon. I've been wanting to use ribbon in my hair or my daughter's hair. And I thought this is such a pretty color for spring and St. Patrick's Day. We can put this in our hair during then. And just think it's so pretty. Just even tying long ribbons uh, or long bows on decor or garlands or stuff like that. It's just so pretty. So I am definitely starting to get a collection of trim or ribbons this one i thought was so beautiful it's like a vintage style bible but it's only the new testament and something really interesting inside besides god's word that's interesting but it also has a 30-day devotional in the front so i thought that this is perfect. I read a devotional every day and having the New Testament in here is awesome. So I can reference whatever the day I'm reading and then there's um, some Bible verses so I can, and it says what page it's on, so I can go read the whole thing. So I thought this was so amazing and it's $1.99 and I love the fact that it has florals, it looks vintagey right up my alley. I can just put it on my nightstand like this or even do it like this. So beautiful. So happy to have found that. And in keeping with the book theme, I found this beautiful book of Thomas Kincaid. I love his artwork. It is gorgeous. Like I want to live in this house. It is beautiful. This is exactly my style i love it and just look at the one on the back Ugh. so i've been thinking about artwork and when i opened this book i thought oh my gosh i can just cut the picture the pictures out of here and use them as artwork and so that got me so excited um like how gorgeous is that and there's just so many beautiful pictures in here. Um, like there's the one on the cover. I really want to use that one. There's a winter scene one. I mean, even this one looks very fall-ish. It's just gorgeous. And I couldn't believe I found this. Like this would be a cool April or May one. April showers. No, bring May flowers, yeah. Um, so, I was so happy. So, like, there's so many cute different pictures in here that you can put up for, like, this would be a really cute summer one. So, I was so excited to have found this book, and I'm not sure how much this was. Um, not that much. This one was only a dollar because there was no price on it, so they gave it to me for a dollar. Oh, I love this book. I'm wondering what it looks like without. So not bad. It has a blue spine, gold lettering. Very cute, but I definitely love it with the cover. Um, I like to display some of my books that have pretty artwork in the front and then have my books next to it so it's almost like a picture but without the frame i just think this is so pretty um so love that find and i can't wait to put artwork in some of my picture frames okay and then i found this really beautiful ornate picture frame i am loving these ornate picture frames i have one back there i don't know if you can see it but it's in my thrifted versus style um, short video and I believe in another video but anyways 
I, what I like to do is I'll find these ones that are pewter and, or silver and I put rub and buff in them and it looks so beautiful. This does have gems in it so I'm not sure if it'll mess it up but I think the one I did did also. But it was only $1.99 and I recently went to Goodwill and um, I'd found quite a few of these and I put them back. I don't know why. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. So they were almost exactly like this, except one was more landscape without this part. And it was like exactly like this. So I hope when I go back they're there, because they were the same price, $1.99, and I just didn't. And then I, this is also a thing I've been looking for to decorate, or these napkins. And this one was 99 cents. It's just so beautiful. I love the dainty little thing and then here's that one it's pretty plain what is that for this haul but all right you guys that is it for quick haul I thank you guys so much for stopping by let me know what was your favorite item I don't know I really these little coasters they just have my heart I just love these these are so cute um so yeah everything is definitely what i love all right guys so i know i've been pumping out a ton of thrift hauls um just things i've been collecting um as i go thrift thrifting and i'm going to try to squeeze in some thrifted versus styled videos. Um, I do have my spring decor coming up soon, which you probably may have seen already, but I am recording this well in advance. I have quite a few hauls and videos pre-filmed. Um, so I have probably three or four now. Um, so I'm just doing one video every week. I'm trying to um, upload them on Thursdays. So if you guys like these type of videos, definitely hit the like button, comment, let me know what was your favorite item and share this video with those who may, who you know that loves vintage antique vines, loves that cottage style Regency core. <laughs> if you are new here and have not subscribed, I would love for you to join us. If you would just hit that subscribe button below and then hit the gray notification bell so it'll notify you of my next video like i said i will be trying to upload every thursday and in the in between i will be posting some short videos so you can see those i'm going to be doing that with thrifted versus styled so you can see little bits and pieces of just the items i'm getting and so you can see how i style them and yeah all right you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye.